I just want to share about succeeding in the new world of work. It's amazing uh, how uh, the changes that technology has brought uh, and the things that have happened post-COVID. Uh, Post-COVID has produced scenarios uh, uh, that have been tough for those of us who have been so well adjusted to a static model. Well, those days are now gone. Uh, not only remote work, hybrid work, uh, uh, or them just throwing some big internet presentation through your, sending it through your email for you to train yourself on. The world of training has forever uh, been altered. And training now will be facilitated through so many different modes. It's a new world, but I think Mark Twain once said, the only person who loves change is a wet baby. You got to adjust to the change. The world has changed. COVID has produced some new things. Companies discovered metrics that they never knew before. Uh, you've discovered some things that you never knew before. You can work in your own room uh, and never comb your hair. And who oh, will be the wiser? You didn't comb your hair all week. Well, well, you comb your hair, uh, but maybe you didn't have to do all of this. You didn't have to get all spruced up. Changes in the work world are here now. The thing is, is that we have to adopt with the changes. The changes are rapid. The changes are challenged. Uh, there may not be anyone anymore to look over your work, over your shoulder, and show you exactly what you must do but challenges come to be answered this challenge won't best you you faced challenges before and men and women have always found well rather men and women have always found a way to rise to the challenge it's painful it hurts it's new <sighs> who likes new who likes adjusting to new things you know but hey it's here now Find a way to adjust to the coming changes. Find a way to adjust to the new way of world of work. Technology is so rapid now that what you learned five years ago doesn't even apply. If you're that mechanic, <laughs> you're that mechanic that learned how to fix cars a long time ago and never got any supplemental training after that, you're going to be lost. It's like that in virtually every industry. You, we, uh, even in the sales industry, we're so uh, caught up in the old model of, uh, you know, and I listened to I, someone, I think I just listed, uh, someone just asked my favorite sales books, and I went back to the old uh, W. Clement Stone, and not really sales books, motivation books, so W. Clement Stone's, Napoleon Hill, and David Schwartz, and all those folks. But really, if we want to really be honest, a lot of things in those books with time on un it principle, but times not honoring air all of those principles. The world of work has changed. It's a new model. Sometimes upper management is learning it. Sometimes lower management is getting beat up for the change. And you're caught in the crosshairs because change has become dominant. Well, change comes everywhere. The only thing, uh, the only time that you won't experience much change on this side, it probably has something, something Memorial Park. Death is the only thing uh, that separates that. But I just want you to know the world of work may be challenging. You may be exceptionally challenged, but you're up to the challenge. I'm giving you the rallying cry. I'm giving you the boost, the jolt. I'm giving you the uh, kudos that you can do it.
It's difficult. It's new. You're tougher than you think. Always go back to those stories of the one women who saw thousand pound cars laying on their kid. And somehow the women found the strength to pick the car up off of their child. Little bitty women, sometimes scrawny, 120 pounds, picking up a thousand pound car, the adrenaline rush. There's a giant living inside you, woman. There's a giant living inside of you, man. That giant is there. And that giant is more than up to the challenge of navigating the difficulties and adjusting to our new work world. Have an awesome day. Be blessed.